Okay, then Jesus, I know here. Hello, Isaiah. How are you? You're the first one today. Can you hear me, Isaiah? Oh, no. It's Good Jose Jonas. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. A little bit. Uh, what? As you said, is it busy? Ocupado? Sí, busy. Mm -hmm. As you said, is it busy? I'm busy okay. or I am busy or something like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, where, where are the rest of people? They are not here and we are 8.04. Hmm. Ayer, la, ayer solo mujeres habían al principio y hoy solo hombres. <laughs> Falta Katherine, Jenny. Eh, solo, solo mudo. Eh, quiero ver quién más que siempre está. Eh, casi solo cuatro o cinco se están conectando. Bueno, máximo siete. Se están conectando. Y se supone que son un montón. Se supone que somos 28. 28 personas. No se conectan. Qué extraño, ¿verdad? Very strange. Ok, let's begin with you guys. The class because they are not coming. Oh, Elena. <laughs> Welcome, Elena. How are you? Oh, she can't speak, maybe. En el grupo habemos... 28, yo ya los conté aquí en el WhatsApp, sí. hay 28 y solo se sí, conectan claro. como 6 o 7. Sí. En el otro grupo más o menos se conectan como 22, pero en este grupo casi nadie viene. Es bien raro. Hay gente que nunca la he visto. Que jamás la he visto que se, que se conecta. Bueno, Ana María. Ana María. Paola, Maritza. Sarabia, Tani. Ah, Rocío, sí se mete a veces. Arely, no sé quién es. Jen. Karen. Ah, no sé, que hay un montón de, es que hay un montón de inglés corporativo, entonces no todos son alumnos, ah, pues alumnos son, no me entiendo, alumnos son como 20 quizás, o 18, por ahí, pero son más. Ok, let's begin the class, please, kids, because they are not coming, is their responsibility to be here. So, I don't know. Well, let's begin with sharing the screen. Yesterday we were seeing the if clauses that are conditionals. Conditionals are uh, mainly identified with the if clause. If clause, that is if, something that begins with if. That means C. C, possible situation, comma, the consequence, as she's explaining. So let's, we seen yesterday a little, a little part of the video, but we will pay it again so we can complete the, the content. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, oh, well, it's in don't forget video. to write your comment. And we begin from the beginning. I'm sorry. <laughs> este 
empieza a ser. Está. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, Don't forget to write your consequence using the future. Will, may, or might. Okay. Let me see from the beginning. Because I don't see that. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, We will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will, Plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future, will, may, or might. Okay, we did this exercise yesterday. We were adding possibilities to these uh, the consequences of the of the uh, conditional sentence, and uh, we added the main clause. So I want I want to see if you have questions about this topic. Do you have it, or everything is clear? I have a question. Uh huh. And in the explanation said that we can use for present or future, but we can use in past, right? Like if I talk with my, I don't know, with my friend, huh? I will, no, because it's, will is in future. Is future. Uh -huh. No, you cannot. You cannot use a past because if it is, if this is a consequence, is something in the future, something that could be for sure, or something that could be a possibility. That's why we will use will 
This is future, but remember will is like a possibility. It's not exactly that it's going to happen. For example, if I, uh, if I don't study, I will uh, fail the English course. That, that sounds like a fact. It's like a truth, but that doesn't mean exactly because if you change your mind and if you study, you will pass. So this is a possibility depending on the, on the, on the beginning. That's why we can replace will for might, uh, uh, may, or let me see the other one, what it say? I don't remember. Push. May my Some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Uh -huh. Will, may, or might, because they, they mean a possibility. So that will be the, the, the main clause using. That is future because it's a consequence and a consequence is never in the past. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let me see the other. Um, now let's check for 11, for 12. Okay, remember for this Thursday, that will be today's 19. So Thursday will be 21st. I don't know if this group has this uh, warning or this uh, message from the administration, but I don't think so because I don't see. Uh, this is like um, everything that is on section four has to be completed by uh, July 21st because uh, that would be like a grade. So you have to complete that uh, at 100% in advance or a native percent at least. So let me forward this image for you because they forgot to publish this on your on your group in WhatsApp. That is a message from the administration. So we are 412. We have to cover a lot right now. So we can finish number four for you to have everything clear and you can do the, the, the quizzes on the platform. Okay, in this class, you will read an article about falling in love. <laughs> As you read, you develop the skills and reading for a specific information. Do you know what is falling in love? Enamorado. Enamorarse. Oh, Rosia is here. Let me see. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, Rosia. Welcome. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay. Vale. Esta clase ustedes leerán un artículo sobre estar enamorados mientras leen ustedes desarrollan habilidad de lectura comprensiva. Let's see. Oh, this is an article. Let's zoom, zoom in. Okay, maybe bigger. Okay, but I'm tapping. Are you able to see and, and read? Or is yes? Okay, so let me read this for the first time so we can listen how the words are pronounced. And then we will try to read it by ourselves and we will do the, the, the instructions. Are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush for someone and falling on someone and falling in love? You think you're falling in love. 
you're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what our readers said. Our readers said, if you're falling in love, first, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. Number two, you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins to interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. <laughs> no, number three, you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love said a TV sports announcer. Okay, so you've fallen in love. But falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her uh, call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay, that is the article. So, do you do you uh, did you catch uh, some of the topics that they are talking about? No. What what is the article about? The article talks about the uh, uh, difference between uh, mm -hmm. uh, staying in love and falling in love. To have a crush or falling uh, to fall in love or to love someone, right? Yeah. Do you know what is having a crush? Yes, um, I think uh, is when you're have a person and that you 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 falling in love, but not it's not necessarily the, the other person is falling in love <clears throat> about me. Mm -hmm. A crush maybe is only that we like this person. We feel we feel like when we say like seeing hearts all the time, and when this person appears, everything is happiness and we are feel nervous and we uh, smile a lot and we don't, we don't know what to do or what to, or maybe sometimes people when, when they see someone that, that they like, they run. They, they act like if this person is not there or they get like uh, not putting attention to this person when it's totally the contrary. It is, it is because they are not, they don't want to show that they are uh, taking too much attention to them because they are like shy or sometimes they, they, they change. They are very quiet and when this person appears, this is, uh, they are like talking too much or different. If they are talking too much and this person appears, they are just in silence because they feel too shy. That is having a crush, is when you don't know someone very well and you are just imagining what you uh, have in your mind this person is, or the person that you want to, to see on them. That is just an illusion. That is having a crush, because I can have a crush on, on Ricky Martin or, 
I don't know, maybe in uh, Maluma or maybe in Sebastián Yatra or because they sing really well or they are just cute or maybe they are amazing or something. But it is real that we know them? No, probably we won't know them for a lifetime. But when you are falling in love, it's because you know someone really well. When you, well, even people that is married, they don't know exactly who are they married with. Because when they are, uh, when they are married, they know exactly what was the, per the real person that was behind the other one. Maybe they, they discovered it's not exactly as they, as they imagined. But that, that is the first obstacle that, that uh, couples are finding. In the beginning, they are like, um, they are like just accepting, accepting or, or forgiving in the beginning because they love them. But when time passes, as the radical says, it is not easy to accept all of these things. And that is, uh, you have to marry with someone that you love a lot because all of these differences will make this love to be uh, proved and to feel that you are in front of a person that you really didn't know. But if you, uh, perhaps this, you're accepting him or her, that is exactly love is when you accept the person as it is. So that's something of the article. Let me translate that. And then we will read it one by one because we are only four today. Yeah, there are only four. Let me see. Oh, Jenny's here. Hello, Jenny. Hello, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay, one, two, three, four. We are five today, okay or more, let me see. No, we are five. Okay, let me, or, or maybe we can translate by ourselves. Let's try this. Jenny, can you please begin translation? Um, I tried. Mm -hmm. uh, the first part. The first, from the title. Uh, are you in love? Uh-huh. Estás enamorado? Uh-huh. Uh, let's continue the in the, the blue. blue frame. Yeah, the blue frame. Okay. What is the difference between having a crush mm -hmm. on some someone and falling in love? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre tener uh, uh, un crush? I don't know what's uh, the meaning of the crush. Um, un enamorado? Mm. Having a crush es como estar... Eh, Ilusionado? Ilu bien ilusionado, ajá. Es tener una ilusión. Ah, ok. O sea, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre ten, eh, tener una. estar ilusionado o. Eh, eh, como el. como en, la, en el tiempo de enamoramiento, algo así, ¿no? I don't know. Someone and falling in love. Uh -huh. No, es como. Eh, la diferencia entre estar ilusionado de alguien. O estar enamorado. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I, I continue reading? Yes, please. Ok. You think you're falling in love. Eh, pienso. Piensas. Ah, piensas. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. Piensas, piensas. Eh, el estar enamorado. No, you think you are falling in love. You're falling. You're, uh, 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 ¿Piensas estar enamorado o sientes estar enamorado? Mm -hmm. Tú piensas que tú estás... Eh, enamorado. Enamora, ema, enamorándote. Mm -hmm. Enamorándote, ok. Mm -hmm. You are really attracted to a certain person. Eh, realmente estás... Te atrae... Eh, realmente te atrae una, una persona. Una cierta persona. Una cierta persona. Uh -huh. uh, but is this happening before? And, pero, eh, 
¿Te pasa antes? Eso o, te ha pasado o, antes. Eso te ha pasado antes y, y and it is was just a crush. Uh, eso te ha pasado antes y es, es con tu con tu crush. I don't know if that's meaning the crush. Pero eso solo fue una ilusión. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Eso solo okay. fue una ilusión. Ajá. Ahora, how can you tell? How can you tell it if, if it is real this time? Um, pero dime, dime tú o dime cómo podrías tú o dime tú cuál es el, como el tiempo real. No, oh. eh, how can you es cómo puedes tú tell, decir, if, uh -huh. si, y si es, eh, es el tiempo esta real. Es real, si es real esta vez. Uh -huh. Time es, es vez, o sea, cómo puedes tú decir que esta vez es real. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here's what our readers say. Uh -huh. uh, here's. Uh, I don't know, say here's the, the meaning in Spanish. Here's here is remember this is contraction. Here is, yeah, ¿qué significa here es aquí. Uh -huh. Y el is estar aquí. No, aquí está okay. estar. Ah, aquí está eh, lo que puedes lo que es our no nosotros. No, eso es eh, artículo positivo. No, ya, yeah. ¿no? de nosotros, ajá. De nosotros, los que podemos, nuestros. Lo, ajá, lo que nuestros. Uh -huh. eh, re, nuestros lectores pueden decir. Lo dijeron, se despasaron. Dijeron, ah, dijeron. Uh -huh. mm. Difficult with translation, Jenny. Yes, I yes. a lot. Uh-huh. Okay, continue, Rocio, please. Rocio, are you there? Rocio, no. Okay, let's go to the gentleman, Isaac. Can you please read and translate? I try, teacher. Okay, okay. If you're falling in love, uh -huh. ¿estás tú enamorado? No. What is the word if? ¿Podrías estar tú enamorado? No. If, ¿cuál es? ¿Qué significa if? Si estás tú enamorado. Ajá. Si tú te estás enamorando. Remember, Ajá. this is. Sí, está. Es el yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Vaya, primer corazón, ¿qué dice? You, you will find mm -hmm. yourself taking mm -hmm. talking to mm -hmm. talking to or telephoning mm -hmm. the, the person for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yes, you may pretend there's Might. a reason. You might pretend there's a reason, mm -hmm. but often there's not. Okay. That is perfect reading. But what about the translation? Tú buscarías. Tú buscarás. That is. Buscar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, let me see. Is is. Find this como encontrarte. You okay. find yourself. Tú te encontrarás a ti mismo. Talking. Ajá. Hablando. Ajá. O. O. Telefoneando. Ajá. <ríe> Ajá. Telefoneando, traduciéndolo así exacto. Ajá. Telefoneando. telefoneando a, ¿A quién? A la persona. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Por no, por no razón. razón. Por no por, razón. Por Sin ninguna razón. razón. Ajá. Ajá. Le va a hablar o le va a telefonear por, por nada, o sea, solo por hablar, Ajá. ¿verdad? 
Sí. Entonces, entre paréntesis, you might pretend. Might is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And pretend. You podría pretender. Exactly. Uh -huh. There's a reason. Que tenga una razón. Exactly. Good. Okay. But pero, often, pero, uh -huh. Antes no. 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 Often es a menudo. Mm -hmm. Pero a menudo no la tienen. Exacto. Esa es la traducción. A menudo, okay. o sea, que le va a hablar solo por oírla, oírlo, no, no va a tener ninguna razón a pesar que sienta que sí la hay. Ajá, esa es una razón por la que estamos enamorándonos. <laughs> ok, Elena, you're next. Can you please translate the second heart? Ok. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. Uh -huh. Es estarás buscando no tú te encontrarás a ti mismo oh yes eh, tú te encontrarás a ti mismo uh -huh. um, what is the meaning of bringing trayendo a esta persona bring es traer okay tú te encontrarás a ti mismo trayendo a esta persona en cada conversación Mm -hmm. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. Cuando estaba en México, una un amigo begins. Um, empezó. Empieza. Empieza. Okay. Mm -hmm. El amigo empieza. Mm -hmm. You interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Mm, tú interrumpes eh, con mi novio. Mira que hizo. hizo una grandiosa, podría decir. Uh -huh, grandiosa. Grandiosa cena mexicana la semana pasada. Ok, great, great. Thank you. Ok, Ana, can you please continue translation? You sit, Ana, there. Yes. Okay, Anna, can you please read the third part in translation? Okay. Lord, what's the meaning to the literature? The meaning? Suddenly. Well, suddenly is the repente. Uh, suddenly, okay. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. Mm -hmm. mm. With the key. Mm -hmm. De repente. <laughs> With the key, de repente. Mm -hmm. eh, Tuviste. Este. Interesado. Ah, este. Interesado. interesado. Ajá. Ajá. En, en cosas. ¿Qué? En cosas que te hagan mal. No, que, an, que, estabas, acostum, que estabas acostumbrado a evitar. Ah, es evitar. Ok, evitar. And then, when a woman. When a woman asked me to tell her all about football, mm -hmm. I know she's fallen in love, say mm -hmm. in TV sport announcers. Mm -hmm. Cuando una mujer pregunta, me, me pregunta, mm -hmm. me pregunta eh, sobre... ¿Qué le diga? Sobre, ah, que le diga. Mm -hmm. Que le diga... Que todo uh -huh. sobre fútbol. Uh -huh. um, I know. No uh, conozco. Yo sé, I know. Ah, ok, yo sé. Uh -huh. en el lado. Que ella. Ajá, yo sé que ella 
está. Eh, ajá, que está. Falling in love, que está enamorada. Exacto. Ajá. Que está enamorada. De ahí. Ser. Ser dijo. Ajá. ¿Quién dijo? Dijo. Eh, un. Dijo. Un. Un. Como. Announcer, es como un reportero de, 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 de deporte, de, de televisión. Es, ah, de noticias. Correcto, correcto. Un, uh -huh. un reporte, un, un, anuncio, un presentador de noticias deportivas. Ah, presentas. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, Jenny, again. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please this, the next paragraph? Good job, Anna. Good job. Okay, I try again, okay. Okay, again. You, okay. you have to read from okay to, 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 to will change exactly above the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so job fully. You've, 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 oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I'm sorry. Okay, so you've falling in love. Um, ok, o oh, está bien, entonces te has enamorado. Uh -huh. But falling in love is one thing, pero estar enamorado es una cosa. Uh -huh. And stay in love in another, y en estar enamorado es otra. No, what is staying? Stay, um, permanecer. ¿no? Ajá, permanecer qué? En, enamorado. Ajá, ¿qué significa eso? Uh, <risa> es otra cosa. Sí. Como dijo el chinito, ¿verdad? una cosa es una cosa y otra cosa es otra cosa. Ajá, <risa> ok. Ah, okay. Entonces leamos otra vez ya completo en español. Ok. 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 Um, ya se has, ok, te has enamorado, uh -huh. pero estar enamorado es una cosa. Y eh, estar permanecer. enamorado, permanecer. permanecer enamorado es otra. Ajá. Uh -huh. De ahí que dice, how can you tell? How can you tell uh -huh. as, as a time passes? Uh -huh. um, how... ¿Qué es how? Ah, voy, a leer la, voy a leer toda esa porque es toda una pregunta, ¿verdad? De una vez. How can you tell as a time passes that you're still in love? Uh -huh. um, ¿Cómo puedes saber? No, y no dice no. saber, dice tell. No, no, no. ¿Cómo puedes decir? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedes decir? Um, as the time passes, I don't know. Uh, si el tiempo pasa. Uh -huh. Al pasar el uh, tiempo. Ah, uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedes decir que al pasar el tiempo uh -huh. puedes, puedes permanecer enamorado? Uh -huh. Exacto. If you stay in love, uh -huh. your relationship will change. Uh -huh. uh, si, estás, si estás enamorado, If you stay, what is if you stay? Uh -huh. eh, si, es, si quedas, no. Si... Permaneces. Ah, thank you. Si permaneces enamorado, pero puedes cambiar. Se puede cambiar. Uh -huh. Pero en okay. una relación puede cambiar. No. Si estás enamorado, your, what is your? Tú. Ajá. Uh -huh. Re relationship. Tu, re tu relación. Uh -huh. Will change? Cambia. No, that is future. Cambiaría. Cambiará. Cambiará. Okay. Uh -huh. Si tú permaneces enamorado, tu relación cambiará. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que quiere decir. Ok, let's go with Rocío again. Please, from you might not talk to life. Is Rocio there? No, again, it's not. Okay, Asayak. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. If you, uh -huh. you might not talk 
You may not talk as much about the person you are in love with. Podrías no hablar mucho acerca mucho acerca de la persona que tú estás enamorada. Exacto. Mm -hmm. You might not call him. You might not call him here or her so often. Mm -hmm. Podría ser que tú mm -hmm. no llames, no mm -hmm. la llames. Ajá, no le llames a él o no la llames a ella. Ajá. Ajá. So often. Tan frecuente. Eso, muy a menudo. Uh -huh. De ahí, mm. but this person. But this person will never, never nevertheless, uh, nevertheless uh, become mm -hmm. more and more important in your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero esta persona por, no, no sé. Nevertheless, no nevertheless sé. Es como que como nunca, como nunca llegará, become, Ajá. como nunca llegará más y más Ajá. importante en tu vida. Ajá, eso no quiere decir que vamos a dejar de ver el gran montón de esa persona, tal vez ni le hablemos, ¿verdad? Pero al revés, va a ser mucho más importante esa persona a pesar de eso. Ok. Then let's go to Elena again. Uh, you'll find to yourself. Please. You'll find uh -huh. that you can be yourself uh -huh. with this person. Uh -huh. mm. Tú descubrirás. Encontrarás. Uh -huh. Encontrarás. Uh -huh. that you can be your, tú encontrarás que tú puedes ser tú mismo uh -huh. con esa persona exacto uh -huh. when you first fell, fell when you first fell in love uh -huh. cuando tú primero te sientas enamorado no, cuando tú te enamoraste al, al de primero when you first fell in love Remember, falling in love is present. Falling in love es que se enamoró en el pasado. Ah, okay. Entonces, le dice, cuando tú primero te enamoraste, uh -huh, you were, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. Uh -huh. Tú probablemente uh -huh, estabas Uh -huh. es afraid estabas... nervioso uh -huh. preocupado okay. estabas como preocupado de admitir uh -huh. ciertas cosas uh -huh. acerca de ti mismo perfecto, muy bien ok, good job Elena and finally Ana but now to even better ok But now you can be totally honest. Mm -hmm. Pero ahora tú puedes ser totalmente honesto. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Mm -hmm. Pero ahora tú puedes... Ah, no, sí, ya estaba. <laughs> tú puedes... Uh, trust, teacher. Confiar. Ah, ok. Tú puedes confiar en él o ella y aceptar. Um, no. Y aceptarte, uh, perdón, porque you. Y aceptarte. Ah, ok. Y aceptarte. Uh -huh. um, tal como eres. Exacto. Uh -huh. De ahí falling. Falling in love is great. Uh -huh. Staying in love is even better. Uh -huh. uh, 
estando enamorado, eh, estar enamorado es genial. Ajá. Este, um, permanecer enamorado es... Mm. es even teacher. Aún. Aún mejor. Okay. Eso, eso. <risa> Bien. <risa> Les costó un poquito algunos, ¿verdad? Pero ahí van, ahí van. Y say it. I am impressed. I, I thought you will be having a really hard time, but you subsisted. <laughs> okay. Y de la que pensé que le iba a pasar más fácil. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ajá. Ya encontré los talones de Aquiles. <laughs> okay. Let's try. But I, I don't like it from late. You don't like translation? No, no. But you have two. You have two. I know yeah. that list, uh, listening and listening and pronunciation is, is, is not hard for you, but sometimes we have to translate. Yeah. A ver, exactly. vamos a ver. Are you in love? Estás enamorado? What is the difference between having a crush or someone and falling in love? Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre tener una ilusión en, al, por, en alguien o estar enamorado? Tú puedes pensar que tú estás enamorado, pero um, tú estás realmente atraído a cierta persona, pero esto te ha pasado antes y simplemente fue una y solo fue una ilusión. ¿Cómo puedes decir si esto es real esta vez? Esto es lo que nuestros eh, lectores dijeron. Si tú estás enamorado, tú encont te encontrarás a ti mismo hablando o telefoneando esta, a esta persona sin razón. Tal, eh, vas a pretender que hay una razón, pero a menudo no la va a haber. Segundo, tú encontrarás, te encontrarás a ti mismo llevando a esta, eh, trayendo a esta persona en cada conversación. Eh, cuando estaba en México, un amigo comienza y tú le interrumpes con mi, eh, mi novio me hizo una gran cena mexicana la semana pasada. Tercero, Tú puedes de repente estar interesado en cosas que tú solías, eh, evi tú solías evitar. Bueno, cuando una mujer pregu me pregunta que le diga todo acerca de fútbol, yo sé que ella está enamorada, dijo un presentador de televisión de deportes. ¿Por qué? Porque a las mujeres no nos interesa el fútbol generalmente. Y cuando nos interesa es porque, vea, <risa> there is someone. <risa> Entonces, I like it, football. I don't, mm, I don't like soccer game. I like the players. But not if it's Piqué. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Okay. De acuerdo. Entonces, te has enamorado. Remember, it's juve, it's past participle. Ok, entonces, te has enamorado. Pero estar enamorado es una cosa y permanecer enamorado es otra. ¿Cómo puedes tú decir a medida que el tiempo va pasando, verdad? O como el tiempo pasa, que tú sigues enamorado. O que todavía, porque still es todavía. Que tú estás todavía enamorado. Si tú permaneces enamorado tu relación va a cambiar tú podrías no hablar mucho acerca de la persona que tú estás enamorado tú podrías no llamarle o llamarla muy a menudo pero esta persona es, eh, llegará a ser como nunca más y más importante en tu vida tú encontrarás que tú eh, puedes eh, puede que yo, ah Tú puedes eh, encontrar que tú puedes ser tú mismo con esta persona. Cuando tú la primera vez te enamoraste, tú estabas probablemente preocupado, ¿verdad? De admitir ciertas cosas acerca de ti mismo. Pero ahora tú puedes ser totalmente honesto. Tú puedes confiar en ella o en él o en ella y aceptar, eh, aceptar. Eh, tú puedes confiar en él o en ella que te van a aceptar exactamente como tú eres. Just as you are. 
Falling in love is great. Enamorarse es grandioso. Permanecer enamorado es aún mejor. That is true. That is true. Kids. That is true. Pero a medida uno está joven pasa más lo primero. Yeah. Porque la planta hace la trampa. Ok, ok. Vamos a leer. Una vez cada uno. Vamos a ver en qué tenemos problemas ya cuando le hemos decorrido. Porque ahorita le, leímos así poquito, ¿verdad? Pero quiero ver que agarren velocidad. Let's say uh, 8.53. Oh, my God. I didn't, no sentí la hora hoy. Let me see. Ok, two minutes to read. The complete paragraph. Ok, Jenny. Ok, are you in love? You think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain person. But it has happened before. And it was just a crush. How you can tell if it is real this time? Here's what our readers say. If, you, if, if you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking to or tel telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often they're not. You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins your interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might suddenly but interested in things you used to about a boy. When a woman asks me to tell her about football, I know she is full in love, say an TV sport announcer. Okay, so Joe falling in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as the time passes? that you're still in love. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him her or her so often, but this person will never, we never still become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person when you first fell in love, you you're, you were probably afraid to admit certain, certain thing about yourself. Mm -hmm. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Mm -hmm. Okay, two observations. Okay. One, it is the S at the end. Yes, it's my it's my problem. Yeah, the S yes at the end. And the other is the rhythm of the reading. Yeah. The rhythm of the of the reading is like you are not respecting the points and commas. You're not making passes. It is okay. Like you think you're falling in love, you're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before and this was the first. How can you tell if it's the real time here? Was it? Yeah, oh it's for the time. That is not intonation or 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 or, or, or anything. You you cannot see what is where yeah, is it's for the time. It's yeah. one of the time. Yeah, so you have to 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 be um and a, a little bit uh, words like it is not woman, it's woman. Oh, woman, okay. Woman. Uh -huh. and the other is let me see what was the one. Ju, Job, no, it's not Job, it's Ju. Ju. Mm -hmm. Ju. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's continue. Rosie is not there. It's not answering. So, uh, Isaiah, can you please read? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you in love? Mm -hmm. What oh, is uh -huh. the... <laughs> okay, <laughs> just a joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> what is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Mm -hmm. You seem you're falling in love. You're really attractive to a, to a certain person. Mm -hmm. But this has happened before. 
and it's what you crush a crush. Mm -hmm. How can you tell if it's real this time? Mm -hmm. Here, here's what our here's. here's what our reader say. Mm -hmm. If you're falling in love, mm -hmm. you find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. Mm -hmm. You might pretend there's a reason. There's but, uh, a reason. There's a reason, mm -hmm. but often there's not. Mm -hmm. You find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. Mm -hmm. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins, you interrupt with... Interrupt. Interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Mm -hmm. You might suddenly... Suddenly? Suddenly. Oh, oh, suddenly. Uh -huh. Suddenly be interested Mm -hmm. In seeing you used to avoid. Mm -hmm. When a woman asked ask me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love. Mm -hmm. Say a TV is for an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you falling in love. Mm -hmm. But falling in love is one thing. Mm -hmm. And staying in love is another. Mm How -hmm. can you tell? Mm -hmm. As time pieces passes, passes mm -hmm. that you're still in love. Mm -hmm. If you stay in love, your relation relationship relationship mm -hmm. will change. Mm -hmm. You may not tell as much about the person. Not talk, not not tell, not talk. Not talk as much about the person mm -hmm. you are in love with. Mm -hmm. You may not call him or her so often, mm -hmm. but this person will never tell us because mm -hmm. more and more important in your life. Mm -hmm. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person when you first fell in love. Perdón. No problem. Uh -huh. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain, certain. things. Certain. 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 Uh -huh. certain. Mm -hmm. Think about yourself, mm -hmm. but now you can be totally honest. Mm -hmm. You can choose him or her to accept you just you just as you are. Mm -hmm. Falling in love is a, is great. Staying in love is even better. Even better. Even better. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm impressed. Just speed. Un poquito de velocidad y ya vamos ahí. Bien, 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 bien. Así un poquito lento, pero va bien. Va bien, va bien, va okay, bien. Ok, teacher. Thank Ajá. you. Ajá. Ah, it's 901. <laughs> Elena and Anna will try tomorrow. Ok. We'll try okay. tomorrow, sure. but okay. let me see if we have an activity here. Ay, no, yimos a la chica, vea. Mañana vamos a, a, vamos a seguir con Elena y con Ana y vamos a oír a la chica porque estamos viendo supuestamente reading. Uh -huh. Ella a saber qué va a decir porque de reading a saber qué va a hacer. Pero dice cero, cero. Bueno. Mañana vamos a ver, vamos a avanzar un montón mañana. 
para terminar, vamos a ver si terminamos el 4, para que ustedes tengan ya todo el 4 hecho para el jueves, para que no tengan too much questions en el los knowledge check. Are you completing them? No. 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 El 4, tienen que tener lista la sección 4 para el jueves 21, ahí les puse el, el, el mensaje. Me lo publicaron en el otro grupo, pero ustedes no, no sé por qué. Así que ese lo pusieron hoy, no se aflijan. Okay. Hoy en la tarde, okay. hoy en la tarde lo pusieron. Así que estamos a tiempo para que mañana dice un 80% mínimo. O sea, si no lo logran completar con todo, todo, todo al 100%, o un 80%. Y si no me avisan mañana, y vamos a ver cómo hacemos para, para avanzar un montón en eso. Y revisamos los knowledge. Lo que no quiero... Es que de repente el día que te viene que terminar el jueves empiezan, teacher, no me salió esto, teacher, no te, no me, no, la, la respuesta no me, yo contesto bien y no me da, ¿verdad? Entonces <risa> todo se acumula el mismo jueves y ya entran ahí en estado de shock, ¿verdad? Porque ya va a ser el ya es jueves y no han completado y que la plataforma no les responde o no les agarra la respuesta. ¿verdad? Eso es lo que quiero evitar para que no se me, se, no se me, se me pongan así todos asustados. Okay. 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 Please try to solve them, and si no, mañana vamos a darle con todo. Okay. 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 Thank you for coming tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stop sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah.